Vamos, let's go. You were always better with your fists than with your singing. And you are as beautiful as you were in Kefalonia. I was covered in mud half the time. Still am. Life of a farmer, I suppose. I got your note. How did you know I was in Arcadia? Everyone's hunting for the Mystios with the broken spear and pet eagle. So I started a little hunt of my own. No matter where I used to hide on Kefalonia, you were the only one who could always find me. That's because you were terrible at hiding. Maybe you only found me because I wanted you to. Listen, we both know I was the one who was best at hiding. I'll prove it. Stay here, close your eyes, and at the count of ten, come and find me. You're joking. Come, it'll be like old times. And no using Icarus, that's cheating. Now, close your eyes. Ena, dio, tria, tessera, pende, exi, efta, octo, enea, deca! Ready or not, here I come! You call this hiding? Your tracking skills have improved. It feels like forever since we've seen each other. I couldn't wait to find you. When did you become so charming? Since I got your note. Oh, this is too much fun. I want to hear everything about your life, from the day I left until now. And I want to hear about yours. No, my story would put you to sleep. Come, let's go to the beach and talk like we used to in Sami.
life sounds so exciting. But there's something very important I need to know. Can you still hold your breath? My breath? On Kefalonia, you could always swim farther and deeper than anyone else. You used to bring me the most beautiful treasures from the sea. Don't move. For so long, I was getting worried. I wasn't coming up for air until I found the perfect gift. It's beautiful. You warm my heart like the sunrise. I'd bring you the whole ocean to see that smile. Was it that bad? <laughs> Anais? What's wrong? Seeing you playing and laughing like old times. There's something I haven't told you. I'm married. I see. I should have told you sooner. I'm sorry. Meet me back at the house. I'll explain everything.
I'm glad you came. So you're married? Why didn't you tell me sooner? Seeing you brought back so many fond memories. I wanted to live in them for as long as I could. Life's been hard since Dantos left. Where did he go? Once the war started, Spartans came for his sword. He was killed in battle. Leaving me to run the farm. And raise our son. You have a son? Arion. I'd love for you to meet him. But he's run off again. Why aren't we looking for him? He always goes to the same cave. Where he trains to be a mighty warrior. Training alone encourages bad habits. Yes, of course. You've given me an idea. You could talk to him. I could? <laughs> Gods know he doesn't listen to his boring mother. But you've seen death up close. You could convince him to stay away from fighting and help me here on the farm. All right. I'll talk to your son. <laughs> Thank you. How should I introduce myself without scaring the boy? Tell him you are a friend of his mother's from Kefalonia. The one with the eagle. The stories I've told him about you are his favorites. Is there anything about your son's father I should know to help me connect with him? Dantos broke his finger working the fields. It healed crooked. When Arion asked about it, my husband said he was so strong as a baby, he grabbed it and snapped it like a twig. <laughs> this is how we knew he was blessed by Heracles. I'll find Arion. My husband used to take him to the cave on hunts. They'd spend nights there. It's been taken over by wolves since then. Wait, did you say wolves? Yes, worries me sick. He calls them his friends and... Believe it or not, they seem protective of the boy. Please, don't harm them, Cassandra. Arion would be devastated. There he is. They don't attack me, I won't attack them. Whoa! You look like a mighty warrior! And you must be Arion. I've come to bring you home. Why should I trust you? Your mother and I have known each other for a long time. She told me you like to come here to train, but she wants you to come home. But I don't want to leave. I know you come here to be close to your father. 
You know nothing about my pattern. <sighs> You're right. Maybe you could tell me. I don't want to talk about him. I want to become a warrior. You've spent enough time here, Arion. It's time to go home. I don't trust you. I'm not leaving. I'll make you a deal. Come with me now, and I'll train you to be the mightiest warrior in Arcadia. Really? You really will? Really? Now come. You both are! You didn't have to send anyone after me, Mater. I can take care of myself. I know you can, my love. At least Cassandra said she'd make me the best warrior in Arcadia. He wouldn't come with me, so I said I'd train him. You lied to me? She was just following my wishes, my love. I hate you both! <laughs> His temper comes and goes like waves on a beach. Thank you for bringing him home.
What are you smiling about? I was just thinking about how I could possibly repay you for bringing Arion home to me. I'm sure I could think of a few things. <laughs> Name your price, Mistyos. All this time together, and you haven't shown me where you sleep. <laughs> I'll show you a better spot, but we won't be sleeping. <laughs> Appetite is insatiable. <laughs> you've awakened a part of me I thought I'd lost. I know you've already done so much for me, but if there's just one more thing you could do. I'm not sure I can stand up. Arion wants to be a mighty warrior, but I can't lose any more of my family to war. If Arion learns to fight, he can protect you and the farm. I can't work this farm alone. He won't listen to me, but he looks up to you. I can see it in his eyes. I'll talk to him. But I don't think he's as fond of me as you are. You flatter yourself. Just show him how to plant seeds. Burn some old grass, maybe slaughter a few chickens. It will seem more exciting coming from you. Hello, Arion. Hello. What's wrong? I miss my butter. Ah. Want to talk about it? No. Okay, you don't have to talk. But you can listen if you want. I guess. I lost my father when I was young. I ran far, far away. My only friend in the world was Icarus. One day, a bully threw a rock and nearly broke his wing. What did you do? I cut off his fingers. With this. The Spear of Leonidas? Can I hold it? You can. But first, I need you to do me a favor. Your mother needs you. <gasps> You're going to train me to be a mighty warrior? Your mother wants you to become a farmer. And that's what I'm going to teach you. But farming is so boring. I want to be a warrior like you! Whenever I see the sunrise, I'm never sure I'll get to see it set. I walk away from the people I love knowing it might be the last time I ever see them again. Is that the life you want? Good. Now follow me. Ever heard of the poet Isidus? No, but I know Homer and Achilles and Hector and Odysseus. And the diet horse. Study Homer if you want to learn to put people in the ground. But study Siodos, and you'll learn to grow things out of it. Boring. Ugh. Now we're going to burn some bushes. New life to grow, we need to clear away the old. Why? Because they choke the earth, stopping new plants from growing. Why? Because! Now I'm going to show you how to kill a chicken. But I love chickens. If you're going to feed your family, you're going to have to sacrifice a few chickens. You don't have to kill any today, but watch carefully how I do it. Clean and precise. to the bully whose fingers you cut off he went and got his brothers they beat me pretty badly you didn't have any friends to protect you 
Not until one little girl stood between me and those boys, and with the rage of Ares, screamed at them to leave me alone. Really? A girl? Who? That little girl was me. Mater? Cassandra taught me how to be a farmer, but you could teach me how to be brave. Maybe one day I will. Yeah. She taught me about Isiados. She taught me to burn the old, because it talks the new. And then she killed a bunch of chickens. Well, <laughs> it sounds like you both had a productive day. Your boy is a fast learner. Thank you. This means the world to me. It's been nice having you around, Cassandra. But I feel bad. All these years apart, and you've spent most of your time with Arion. Let's get away from all this, just you and me. There is a market in the year. I haven't been to in ages. There's food and wine and music. An evening alone sounds perfect. But what about Arion? Don't worry about him. All you need to worry about is meeting me in the year. I should find out what Anais likes before our evening together. Anais must have a lifetime supply of olives stashed here. So this is where Anais keeps her wine. It smells strong. I'm getting lightheaded just sniffing it. Anais never told me she made honey. Let's find something to eat and drink, shall we? <laughs> the merchants have the most delicious selections. And tonight, I'll leave the decision-making to you. Ah. Remember when we used to steal food from the markets of Kefalonia? We could steal from this one, for old time's sake. Always the troublemaker. Welcome, my friends. I have a wonderful selection of wines for you and the lovely lady. Only the finest grapes from the finest vineyards. Do you prefer your wines dry, sweet, or strong? You've been all over the world. You must know all the best wines. This woman is a single mother who runs her own farm. She likes her wine strong. <laughs> you know me too well. Strong wine is the best wine. My mouth is watering. 
smell that? That's the tastiest food in all of the year. Tell me, what will it be? We have leg of lamb with rice and olives, roast chicken with fresh vegetables, and slow-cooked goat stew. Oh, decisions, decisions. We'll take the lamb with olives, please. Oh, I love olives. I'm going to devour this meal. And then I'm going to devour you. <laughs> How much I needed this. Welcome, welcome. If you've got sweet teeth, then I've got sweet treats for those teeth. What will it be? Grape pudding with walnuts, fresh strawberries with cream, or baked pears with a honey glaze? Oh, yum! Choose wisely. I love sweets. The pears sound delicious. Homer called them gifts from the gods. But it's the honey that makes them truly divine. Tonight was perfect. You knew exactly what I wanted. Now, tell me what it is that you want. Let me show you. Arion! What's wrong? My god, what happened to you? They came and took everything. I tried to protect the house, but they were too big. You shouldn't have tried to fight them. Anything they took can be replaced. But I can't replace you. This wouldn't have happened if you had trained me to be a warrior. It'll be all right. Just a few scratches. You're right. He's safe now, and that's what matters. Cassandra, there is something I need to tell you. Anything? Having you here was the first time I felt joy since my husband died. I hoped you were still the same person I loved back on Kefalonia. And that if you felt the same, there'd be a place for you here. Anais. The fact that you listened to me and didn't teach Arion to fight shows me you're someone I can trust. I would love it if you stayed with us. I love you, Anais. I've always loved you. But... I know, I know. You always hated staying in one place. Couldn't wait to get off Kefalonia. You were my favorite part of that island. But it's time for me to go. <laughs> I understand. Just know that whenever you are in Arcadia, you'll always be welcome here with open arms. <laughs> 